Astros hosting the Rangers. The Rangers are plus 108 on the money line. The Astros are minus 126. The over-under is nine runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 176, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 146, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. Avaldi pitched three times against the Astros last year or his last three times against them because division rivals, they play each other a lot. Six and a third, two runs, two earned. They won that game nine to two. He struck out four. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game five, four. He struck out nine. One and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 14 to one. He struck out one. Javier, his last three against the Rangers, a third of an inning, three runs, three earned. They lost 11-4. He didn't strike anyone out. Five and two thirds, two runs, two earned. They won eight, five. He struck out three. Four and a third, eight runs, eight earned. They won that game 12 to 11, and he struck out four. So a tale of two different pitchers. Uh, head to head, they're five and five against each other. The underdog is seven and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There's only been one one run game in their last 10. The over is hitting their last three. The over is seven, two, and one. The over at nine is seven, one, and two. And the road team is, I believe, seven and three. Let's see. The Rangers won twice on the road, and the yeah the road team is seven and three. <clears throat> Generally, the underdog has been winning, and the road team has been winning unless you get like a stellar pitcher on the mound. Now, as far as the Rangers, they're five and five in their last ten. The under is six and four in their last ten. They're two and two in their last four. Eight runs, one run, twenty runs, and eleven runs. Six runs and a win, shutout and a loss. Twelve runs and a win, two runs and a loss. Uh, for the Astros. Four and six in their last ten. The over is six and four in their last ten. They are one and four in their last five. Thirteen runs, sixteen runs, twenty runs, and eleven runs. And usually you hear those numbers and you think the Astros are the ones doing that, but they're not. Two runs and a loss, three runs and a loss, eight runs and a win, nine runs and a win. Seemingly when these two teams play each other, there's a shitload of offense. I'm going to take the Rangers with the money line. I'm going to take the Rangers getting the runs and I will go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.